Hi, I'm Michael Snyder here, Seattle Weather Guy. Just thought I'd do a little video here on wind speed and why it matters in early season Pacific Northwest windstorms. As you guys know, we are looking at a windstorm coming in here Friday night into Saturday morning. There's already a wind advisory up for the coast and the northern interior. Wind speeds in Seattle are a little more up in the air right now, showing between 30 and 45 mile per hour gusts in the Seattle area. And you might think, what's the big deal? 30 to 45, that's, you know, uh, that's not that big a difference. But when you look at the pressure force calculation and you go from 30 to 43 miles per hour, you've doubled the pressure force of that wind. And in turn, you're gonna significantly increase tree damage and there's gonna be many more power outages based on the difference in those gusts. And so when we're looking at 35 versus 45, which is probably the ballpark of the peak gas for the Seattle area, that's a big difference, 35 and 45. You're going to get a lot more power outages if you get a 45 mile power gas. Um, we're looking at drought conditions also, plus all the leaves are on the trees. Both of those are contributing factors to how much damage trees will suffer. The drought conditions increase insect activity in trees, it weakens big branches and can re weaken the entire tree itself. Um, dry soil also is, it gives less mass to the root ball of a tree and trees can uproot much easier. Wolf Reed in his paper about August 29th, 2015 covers this very well. And he estimated that the damage done uh, in British Columbia because of that windstorm was doubled because of their drought conditions. So we're facing similar conditions this year. So if this windstorm is a little bit more vigorous than we forecast, uh, there's going to be significant power outages across the region. So yeah, um, I'll post this on Twitter too, and you guys can take a look at this calculation. The, this graph kind of shows it pretty well here. And if you guys like this video, subscribe and, and click like. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers so I can do some live storm feeds later on in the season. Yeah, so I will talk to you guys later and stay tuned on Twitter. I'll keep updating as the storm gets closer and potential even for some thunderstorm activity Saturday into Sunday for Western Washington. So talk to you guys later.